Chapter 11 The Discomfiture of Shaist Khan Shaist Khan's Campaign In spite of repeated efforts in which he left no stone unturned, Adil Shah of Bijapur could not force Shivaji to surrender. Every Sardar of Bijapur who was sent against Shivaji was defeated. Adil Shah at last gave up the fight, made peace with Shivaji and gave recognition to his independent kingdom. Shivaji thus had peace for some time on his southern border. In the meantime, constant Mughal attacks from the north had practically ruined Maharashtra. Shivaji therefore turned his attention northwards and carried out raids in the territory of Mughal Emperor Aurangzeb. Now this enraged Aurangzeb and he sent Shaist Khan his uncle to deal with Shivaji and teach him a lesson. Shaist Khan with a huge army of 75,000 men and hundreds of elephants, camels and pieces of cannon marched on Pune. On the way, he captured the towns of Shirwal, Shivapur, Saswar and finally laid siege to the fort of Purandar. Nothing could stop his advance. But once the Maratha army surrounded him in a mountain pass, the Maratha troops moved very fast on their swift Bhim Thadi ponies. Now they had a speciality also. Do you know what that was? They also travelled very light. They could traverse the hills and valleys in the shortest possible time on army rations consisting of onions and bajra bread. Now this type of warfare perfected by the Marathas was unknown to Shaist Khan. Tired of the continuous harassment by the Maratha troops, he at last raised the siege of Purandar. Emperor Aurangzeb was enraged and sent Shaista Khan to deal with Shivaji. Answer In retaliation of the Mughal attacks which had ruined Maharashtra, Shivaji carried out raids in the territory of the Mughal Empire. This enraged Emperor Aurangzeb. He wanted to teach a lesson to Shivaji Therefore, he sent his uncle, Shaista Khan, to deal with Shivaji. Which towns did Shaista Khan capture on the way to Pune? Answer. Shaista Khan captured the towns of Shivral, Shivapur and Saswar on the way to Pune. Shaista Khan laid siege to the fort of Dash. Your options are Purandar, Panhala, or Shivneri. The answer is Shaisa Khan laid siege to the fort of Purandar. Why did Shaisa Khan at last raise the siege of Purandar? Answer Shaisa Khan raised the siege of Purandar because he was tired of the continuous harassment by the Maratha troops. Firangoji Narsala Shaist Khan then continued his march on Pune. 
First, he captured the fort of Chakan. Firoji Narsala defended the fort with great bravery and skill against the army of Shaista Khan. For two months, he kept Shaist Khan at bay. But he was helpless against the guns of Shaist Khan. Shaist Khan was much impressed with the way Firangoji defended the fort and offered him service with the Mughal emperor. Firangoji, however, refused this tempting offer. Shaist Khan in Lal Mehel. Shaist Khan came to Pune and made Lal Mehel, Shivaji's residence, his headquarters. One year passed. Then another year. Shaist Khan would not leave Pune. On the contrary, his troops would raid Shivaji's territory, destroy crops and take away the cattle. In this way, he started devastating the surrounding countryside. In Pune, Shaista Khan made Dash his headquarters. Your options are Shanivar Vada, Lal Mehel or Parvati. That's right. The answer is, in Pune, Shaista Khan made Lal Mehel his headquarters. A bold plan. At last, Shivaji decided to teach Shaist Khan a lesson. In a way, it was good that Shaist Khan was staying in Lal Mehel. Do you know why? Well, Shivaji knew the place inside out, with all its entrances and exits, its secret passages, doors and windows. Besides, Shivaji's spies were keeping him well informed about the disposition of the Khan's troops. Shivaji, therefore, decided to enter Lal Mehel one night and kill Shaist Khan. This was indeed a very bold plan. Lal Mehel was so well guarded that even an ant would find it difficult to get through. 75,000 troops were camping outside the palace. No armed Maratha was allowed to enter the town. But Shivaji had made up his mind and there was none who would turn him away from his resolve. Quite a brave man was our Shivaji. Shivaji fixed the date to carry out the plan. On the night of 5th April 1663, a marriage procession was passing along the streets of Pune. There was music and fireworks accompanied the procession. Hundreds of people dressed in fine clothes were in the procession. Some were in palkis, other in menas, while many more were on foot. Shivaji, with his band of trusted followers, joined the procession to give the impression that they were a part of it. After some time, the procession proceeded on its way, but Shivaji and his men moved away quietly in the direction of Lal Mehel. Shaist Khan was fast asleep at this hour. Shaist Khan learns a lesson. Shivaji made a hole in the wall and entered Lal Mehel. Now he had no trouble in finding the way about because it was after all 
his own house. The Khan's bodyguards were half asleep. Shivaji's followers tied them up. Shivaji went deeper inside. Suddenly, someone rushed at him with a sword. Shivaji killed him. He thought it was Shaist Khan, but it was his son. There was a commotion. People woke up. Shivaji went straight to the Khan's chambers and took out his sword. Terrified, the Khan started shouting, The devil! The devil! and tried to escape through the window. Shivaji struck him with the sword which cut off three fingers of the Khan. Instead of losing his life, the Khan was lucky to escape with a loss of three fingers only. The Khan jumped out of the window and made for safety. To deceive the Khan's troops, Shivaji and his men raised the cry, Shivaji has attacked! Run! Catch him! and started to run themselves. The Khan's troops also started running in all directions. In the confusion that followed, Shivaji and his men made their escape and reached Sinhagar. The Khan's troops spent the whole night looking in vain for Shivaji and his troops. This incident took the fight out of Shaist Khan. He was afraid that he had lost only his fingers in the first attack. Shivaji might cut his head off in the second. Aurangzeb was furious when he heard of this episode. Shaist Khan lost the emperor's favour and was transferred to Bengal. This was the first serious blow to the Mughal power. Shivaji had successfully bearded the lion in his own den. Gunfire announced the victory and a wave of joy went all over Maharashtra. Give reasons. Shaista Khan jumped out of the window. Answer After entering Lal Mahal, Shivaji went to Shaista Khan's chamber and took out his sword. Terrified, Khan started shouting, The devil! The devil! and jumped out of the window to escape from the attack of Shivaji. Write the answers in one sentence. What was Shaista Khan afraid that might happen? Answer Shaista Khan was afraid that Shivaji might cut off his head in the second attack after having lost three fingers in the first attack. Fill in the blanks. Aurangzeb transferred Shaista Khan to Dash. Your options are Assam, Karnatak or Bengal. The answer is Aurangzeb transferred Shaista Khan to Bengal.